Hey, happy console gamer. Pixel Bliss back here again. I'm Andy. I'm Dave. And you asked us about the Wind Waker, uh, and we thought last week you uh, retweeted us. We thought that was really cool, so we'll pay you back. Yep. We'll, um, I actually don't like the 3D Zelda games. And I, I know that I'm the minority like this. Uh, I don't like them as much as I like the 2D Zelda games, uh, but Wind Waker is the one I like the most. Uh, and it's, I think it's a good game, and I think that art style was really fun back in the day. Uh, I think it'll be easily upgraded to the HD um, because I play a lot of those HD collections on my PS3, and the more realistic games like the Assassins, uh, no, what is it? Hitman, Hitman, the Hitman collection, the Metal Gear. Well, not not so much the Metal the Metal Gear collection looked really good, but it was still wasn't like totally realistic. Yeah. Uh, but the Hitman collection and Devil May Cry collection, yeah. I feel, don't look as good in HD as like the Sly Cooper collection and the Ratchet and Clank collection. And even the Jack and Daxter collection, like I feel like mm -hmm. that cartoony look yeah, transfers the, better because it's still a low polygon model, and you can tell from the Zelda screenshots they're still keeping that same polygon count for yeah, it. Yeah, they're keeping a low polygon. I, I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it's a really good idea actually for them to say, "Hey, we're we're giving you something that you want. It's just not exactly what you want." Yeah, it better not be a full priced game though. Yeah, it, it, if it should be like a the, twenty twenty five dollar. I, I would say thirty five dollars is At the most. Up, is the upper limit of me going. Okay, and if they release it for forty or sixty, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Yeah, cry. Um, I Jim, think rip off. I think it's it, it's a great idea if they, you know, like you said, keep it below a thirty dollar mm -hmm. price point. Um, if they don't up, you know, don't like increase the poly count unless they need to. It doesn't or look they like they're going to do for them. Um, if they add some shading, nice, awesome, whatever. Uh, you know, make sure that it looks good at 1080 or 720, whatever the the Wii U have put outputs at. Um, what I would like to see is, because there's a bunch of stuff that they cut from the original game yeah. to put it out the door, if they were actually going to remake it and like redo it. Like a director's it, cut. Yeah. Like add a master some of that, quest. That's what that's, you should call it. You should call it a master quest. Yes. Add some of that stuff back in, complete it, put it in there. Maybe it'll break up the monotony of the back third of that game. Yeah. Okay. So here's how you could release that for $60 and me not be mad. Um, it's an HD remake with the extra stuff added mm -hmm. in, and we also get the Master Quest Disc limited edition that came with it on the GameCube. That had uh, Zelda, Link's Adventure. Oh yeah, yeah. had all the had all the the uh, NES was ones. It, was it Ocarina? Ocarina was on that disc. Ocarina was no. It would it have been uh, Link to the Past? No, 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 no. It was on the it Super was, Nintendo. There, one? there was a sixty-four one on that disc. I think it would have been Ocarina or Majora's. Like it, I think it was an Ac Ocarina Master Quest or something. But okay. if, if so, if that was on there, I would say yeah, that's worth sixty dollars. Because it's four games. Yeah. And so, once again, I'm not really big on the 3D Zeldas. I would say probably like Wind Waker and then probably Twilight Princess. Uh, I, I have a pretty low. Uh, Skyward Sword is fun-ish um, once you get used to it, but yeah, it's it's kind of goofy with the Wii controller. Well, so. but I've uh, more so I have, I have a pretty low uh, you opinion like of Ocarina of Time, where everyone yeah. thinks that's the greatest game ever made. And I it's don't. not bad. It's um, not bad. It's not. Yeah, that's the point. Like none of them are bad. I mean, they're all good-ish, mm -hmm. but I'm talking like it, yeah. it's a Zelda game. It needs to be great. So uh, I think I think it's a it's a yes with a caveat. Yeah, yes with an asterisk. Uh, we 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 think that they should remake it and redo it, but they need to do it right. They don't they, they don't want to just pop out. You know, here's a yeah, blow it out. Three sixty or a three sixty a uh, GameCube version of this up that you that you get a slight up res on. Yeah, I don't think that's what we want. Do it like the Ratchet and Clank collection. Do it like the Jack and Daxter Slight Cooper collection. Don't yeah. give me just one game. Give me a bunch of them. Yeah, kind give throw in a few. That. Make sure it runs at sixty games. frames because I didn't realize until I played that Sly, Sly Cooper what a difference that sixty frames makes. Oh yeah, um, running at at twenty five versus sixty is, is like night and day on some games. There's a big there's a big jump. Yes. So yes. Jump. So we're pro Wind Waker maybe. Pro Wind Waker remake probably. See you soon. Keep up the good work.